Hello everyone and welcome to Orange Studios. I am Ichiga and to this tutorial we are going to do another breakdown to a, a flyer design. Let's jump in. So we are setting our canvas size to 297 by 210 millimeters. So to start with we are going to create our background and we are going to do that by first creating a shape over our canvas area and pick a suitable color. And in this case, we are going to go for this particular color scheme that would work for us. Alright, so now let's drop in our first image to help us create a beautiful background. And we are going to use this particular image here. You can go around and pick other images that excite your mind. I picked this one because it has this uh, kind of music concert feel to it and I like it. So the next thing we are going to do after this is to make sure we change the blend mode for this particular picture so, but before then let's first apply some um, blur effect to it so to do that select the image uh, move over to filter blur gaussian blur and blur it so that it, it, it gives you some depth of field and then you can add a layer mask and then clean the areas that are too sharp you see the corners are too sharp so you want to apply a layer max and then erase some parts so that it fades into the background that's that's the concept behind applying the layer max to this particular image and fading the sides um next we are going to we are going to write out the theme for the event and Whatever the theme is for what you are doing, you just find a beautiful font that matches what you are doing. In this case, I am using this particular font here, Magensberg, and um, it's, it's a free font that you can download over the internet. Minimiyame is um, it's an album title for Na Nekria and it's available here on YouTube. You can listen to this particular song and you'll be blessed. Uh, the next thing we are going to do is to add the information and that will be venue, time, date and all other information. Uh, if you have other information you want to add, maybe vital information, to web, web, website address, email address, social media handles and all of that. Now this is where you want to do, this is how you want to do it. We are doing that to balance so you see me applying some rule lines to the canvas area or on the canvas area so that I can justify the spacing between it, keep a particular rhythm when it comes to the spacing and that's exactly what we intend to do with this. So we are going to add the information and then we would add our pictures and we'll be done.
and bear in mind you would want to try and keep everything in groups i mean put everything in groups the information or the sub information to one group the title to another group the background to another group it helps you track where your layers are and you can easily assess for instance if there's an error with the 30th november you don't have to waste time going through the layer panel looking for 30th november but you know you have to just go straight to the info folder and then you can track that one out so keep them ordered and then you'll be good one thing we can also do is to add noise just so that it gives it some some feel noise is, is normal when you walk out in town the one thing you can see particularly if you are if you are in an urban area not necessarily an urban area let's say a rural area you would see this a lot where there's a lot of dust um dust particles in the atmosphere so it's, it's a normal thing that comes with life you want to add some noise to it and it makes it look a bit more natural that's my opinion so this is how you go about it Alright, so at this point you want to add the, the if, if it's a church or the event holder, you want to add their information, their name, uh, in this case Lions Gate Ministries and all of that. So if you have this minor minor information about the event organizer, you want to put their name somewhere, their logo somewhere. You can just place it right above the main theme. So even though it's not out there, it's not too big or too loud on the design, it's still somewhere very close to the main important message. And so still you draw people's attention to it so that's more like placing emphasis on something and less emphasis on something right after this you would we want to edit or uh, add our images and it will be very quick Alright now, so let's add our artists, preachers, singers, whoever is supposed to be on the bill, we're going to add them and we will arrange them accordingly. So let me turn off all the groups so we can pay attention to the image and then we would fade out some parts, change their blend modes or probably their, uh, their color style and then make it match so now we are using the blend mode so let's pick luminosity we pick luminosity for this picture we apply a layer mask and then we wipe away some parts that we don't want to be appearing to clean you make you want to make sure that the foreground color is set to black and to restore you make, set it to white so white restores and black erases now we are going to repeat the same process for all the other artists and arrange them so just follow along quickly and then we'll be out of here all right so this is it this is how far we've come we picked our artists change their blend modes so that they match the background give them a uniform tone or a uni tone and um, we kept it cool so now you can add their names like um name them and then make sure their names are there if if it's necessary if it's not you just run away with it and that's fine so we make it pasta sample whatever the name is and then you are good to go So this is another trick, we are going to create another layer over the entire layers and that's a shape and we are going to change the color to something orange. If I'm doing it orange because I want it to look more warm. You can make it blue if you want it to look cool or cold but I want it to give it a much more, a much warm feel so like a warmer feel, let me put it that way. So we are going to change the opacity of that layer and then re reduce it to somewhere very small like um, 40 20 thereabouts 
we want to also add um, brightness layer to it so we adjust the brightness and contrast we can also add some curves to it so that we can have some blend we want to blend the entire um, image or fly as one so that everything has one uniform feel basically that's it i'll do um, another tutorial explaining the contrast what the contrast uh, brightness and contrast does what the curves does and why i do what i do stay tuned for more Okay, so there we go. This brings us to the end of today's tutorial. I hope it was very helpful. If it was, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to this channel. And if you have any question, kindly leave that in the comment section and I'll respond. Have a good time.